Hi, I'm Miss Dubman, art and photography teacher here at the Regis School. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the photography course that we offer. Throughout your GCSE photography course, you will learn about the basic techniques and processes used within photography, whilst completing three units of coursework across year 10. These units begin being very teacher-led with set themes and artists to research, and this will aim students gain knowledge and understanding of the assessment objectives they are marked against. As the course progresses, the themes become increasingly open and students will be able to choose their own areas of study within the photography practice. Throughout your two-year course, you will learn how to use a camera effectively, how to use Photoshop, how to use the visual elements to aid your photographic practice, how to complete digital and physical editing, whilst also having access to our darkroom. Students are expected to develop their work through experimenting with new processes and refining their ideas towards a final sustained outcome. They need to produce a sustained outcome for each unit of coursework. Between the start of Year 10 and Christmas in Year 11, students will have gained 60% of their final GCSE grade, and this will be shown across the three units of coursework. In Year 11, the first term is dedicated to the final coursework project that students will complete before beginning their January exam. The last 40% of your GCSE grade is given in the exam topic, which is given out in January. 75% of the marks given for this last element of coursework are given out in the prep work that you complete between January and April. At the end of this last project, you will create a final piece in 10 hours of supervised time. This will take place over two days under exam conditions and makes up 25% of the marks for your last project. So there is an exam for photography. However, it's very different to any other exam you will take. You will spend two days under exam conditions producing the final piece for your project that you have developed, explored, refined and planned independently. Being a coursework based project, you will pick up and collect marks throughout your two years of study and you are assessed against the four assessment objectives. These objectives are used to mark both the coursework and the exam project and are worth 18 marks each. Assessment objective one covers observing and recording your ideas in relation to a theme. Assessment objective two focuses on studying other artists' work and using their work to develop your own ideas. Assessment objective three is about experimenting with materials and processes whilst refining your ideas towards your sustained outcome. And finally, assessment objective four is creating a personal and meaningful response, which will be your successful final piece. To study photography, students are required to have a real passion for the subject and have an ability to work independently, exploring their own ideas throughout the photographic process. Students are required to annotate and write about their work and any ideas they may have throughout their project and to keep record of their thoughts and ideas. Students are encouraged to attend after school photography sessions as much as they can to take advantage of the photographic facilities we have here and the staff expertise. If you need any more information, please contact me or Miss Devereaux via email and we'll be happy to help.